Are you tired of fasteners falling off the end of your driver while you're trying to screw something in above your head? Well, if you want to find the answer to how to fix that problem, stay tuned to find out. Okay, the way that you solve the problem of a screwdriver not being able to hold on to a screw is you use one of these magnetizer demagnetizers. This one's from Weha. that's 40010. And what you'll notice when you look at the front of it is you'll have a positive and a negative. The positive side magnetizes the driver, the negative side demagnetizes the driver. So let's say you have a screw and you want to make sure that it sticks to your actual driver. What you're going to do is you're going to put the driver in the positive side a few times. And then once you move the driver over to the screw, as you'll notice, it'll pick up the screw. This way, when you put it on the end and you hold it up in the air like this, it's not going to move at all. This way, if you have to put it in over your head or in a tight space, it'll be easy and you won't have to be fumbling around with your other finger trying to hold it onto the screw like this. Now this works for any type of driver. You can use a flat headed driver, same thing, just magnetize it, pick it up, and it'll grab the screw as well. Um, another great way to use one of these is for precision screws. A lot of times you're working on a laptop or something else with tiny screws such as a calculator, um, tablet, anything like that, cell phone, what you can do is, and you got to be careful with this, but you can magnetize the end of your screwdriver. This one here is a pentalobe screwdriver for MacBooks. And what you can do is then you can hold the screw. Where this is, again, very useful is if you are in a tight spot where it's really tiny with very small tolerances, you can still get in there and put the screw in there without worrying about dropping it next to sensitive electronics. Uh, one word of caution on this is if you're going to use it for precision screws like this, I would recommend not to use it on the hard drive screws um, just because those operate um, by magnetics and you don't want to cause any possible data loss. It's very rare, but it can happen. Um, another way that these are great is just by using insulated screwdrivers. Sometimes if you're in, the, in an electrical box and you don't want to touch anything, you can also magnetize the end of this and do the same thing. You can pick up that screw let me magnetize this again. It's having a little bit of trouble on this one. But you can magnetize the screw and the same thing. You put it on the end and this way as you articulate it into the electrical box, it should not come out. Now, if you have any other type of screws or any, any other fasteners you need to use this with, it'll work with torques, it'll work with flatheads, um, it's also fairly strong. If you magnetize a flathead screwdriver, it'll come very close to picking up this threaded rod. As long as you get enough of it on the end of this and go slow, it's got a decent amount of power. So you shouldn't have to worry about it dropping screws as long as you go slow and you're patient with it. That concludes the review of the Weha Magnetizer Demagnetizer. Uh, if you're interested in more tool reviews, please check out other new videos on our YouTube channel as well as toolzine.com and please subscribe below. Thank you for watching.